And so then you just get into like a pushing match with them because the pulling grips don't really work, right? The, the more friction you have, the greater the pulling grips work, the less friction you have, the more pushing grips you have to use. So right away, it's immediately hard to wrestle him. And on top of that, everyone was like, oh man, if Nikki Rob was stalling in, in Fight Pass Invitational, why don't you just stand up and wrestling it, wrestle him? Uh, well, because first of all, we were on a smooth canvas, like a tarp. Uh, the mats were like a, like a tarp. So they were smooth mats. The second those mats get slippery or get wet, they get slippery. Now, they're already slippery with sweat, and now you put Nikki Rod's lotion onto the mats, and now it's like an ice skating ring. It's impossible to wrestle on those mats. So when you have grease involved, you're trying to wrestle, you're just slipping all over the place, and the chance of injury drastically increases. It's like impossible to wrestle when you have greasy, slippery, sweaty mats. So then, yourself, then you find yourself playing guard, and the top guy doesn't want to do jiu-jitsu. He just wants to create the illusion of doing jiu-jitsu where he just backs away, backs away, backs away. Like Penna was in butterfly half guard and uh, like a knee shield half guard with closed legs today trying to scoop under Nicky Rod's leg. And Nicky Rod's just circling, circling, circling away. And every time Penna would get to an underhook, Nicky Rod would just limp arm out, slip out, slip out. So he creates the illusion that he's doing something. And then whenever he sees an opportunity, then he goes in. He doesn't create an opportunity through pressure. He just waits for an opportunity until Penning gets overextended because he's frustrated because he can't get a hold of him because he's so greased. And then when Penning gets overextended, then Nicky Rod goes in and locks his hands or tries to go for a pass. Uh, so it's hard to wrestle when there's grease uh, against someone who has you know good enough defensive wrestling at least uh, combined with the grease to not get taken down. Then the ground, as, as you have a little bit of grease, a little bit of juice, and a little bit of stalling. It goes a lot further than you think it should go. Uh, trust me. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I'm telling you, just grease up with your friends and try to do jiu-jitsu. It's fucking impossible. Um, and then, so it's hard to wrestle. It's hard to do anything from bottom position. And you saw even Penna entered into his legs a lot of times. Look at when Penna entered into my legs. Like, I'm very, I'm highly sophisticated at extracting my legs from leg entanglements. And Penna had, like, relatively sticky grips on me. The second Penna entered into Nicky Rod's leg, his leg immediately just shot out. Like, it was just, like, no connection whatsoever. You think Penna's grips just magically aren't as good? Or that Nicky Rod is so good at extracting his leg from leg entanglements that he just freed his leg twice as good as me? No. It's because he was fucking greased. And then you have the whole thing with EBI overtime, because now when you have EBI overtime and you're working with Greece, when you're on defense and you have to control defensive hands, it's almost impossible to control the defensive hands because the guy's wrist has Greece all over it. So now when you go to control the defensive hands and you're trying to stop yourself from getting strangled, you want one hand to control the defensive hand, and you want to use your other hand maybe to use a hand assist and pull the legs up and everything. But you can't do any escapes because you have to put have two hands, like a strong two-on-one -on, -one on the defensive hand. Otherwise, the grease is just going to allow the wrist to slip out and the hand to shoot across your neck. So when you play defense against a guy who's greased, it allows strangles to slip in easier. And when you play offense in an EBI overtime and you're trying to trap hands and use a cross-wrist system, you're trying to cr grab his wrist to control it to throw a leg over and trap it, and you can't control the wrist because it's fucking greased. And so there's these ways that the grease complicate things that people would never even think of unless it's explained to them. And the internet is just a place where the world's biggest collection of idiots that usually have no voice can gather around to voice their uh, irrelevant, idiotic opinions. And so that's what you get in comment sections. But when you actually think about things like this for more than three seconds, uh, just like wearing a mask, for example, you're like, oh, that makes no fucking sense. Uh, well, when you're actually explained how much of a, of, a big, of a difference Greece makes, you're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And Nikki Rod has literally admitted on their YouTube channel, like on multiple occasions, that he greases. Like, this isn't even up for debate. And now it's the best because Penna was like making a parody video of it, and then he's complaining about it the whole time. It's like, bro, you don't get the, <laughs> you don't, you don't get to do both. Um, so uh, yeah, just absolutely incredible. Nikki just once again gets just exposed as a liar and a cheater. And the best part about the whole thing is that Craig Jones trained Felipe Penna to beat Nikki Rod, and that. 
is loyalty.